most memorable blooper moment on stage? Can you tell that story? Hmm, let me think about that. Hmm, there's just been so many. <laughs> Bloopers that I've been responsible for. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one that I thought was pretty amusing. Um, you, most of you might be familiar with Julius Caesar. And my husband, not at the time, he wasn't my husband, but Wesley was playing Mark Antony. And it was at our university college, and the man who was playing Julius Caesar, he was in his 40s. And he was kind of a heavy, had a girth. And he was supposed to be dead on stage. This is the famous speech. And Julius Caesar, all of a sudden, in the middle of the play, we heard some snoring like, <laughs> and he had fallen asleep. <laughs> this was very funny to the actors on stage, and they started to laugh. But even better than that was, at the same time he was snoring, there was some bird activity up in the rafters of the theater. And all of a sudden, in the middle of the Mark Antony speech, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears, a small droppings appeared and started dropping on the face of Julius Caesar. At that moment, some of the actors could not hold it, and they <coughs> started coughing to suppress the laughter that they had between the snoring and the bird dropping. I thought that was pretty new. But the best, best story of all time, really, is opening night in Philadelphia with Rex Harrison when he was doing My Fair Lady. I think this is amazing. In the same night. At the end of the first act, Rex Harrison was very excited and they somehow had to bring the chandelier up. But instead of bringing the chandelier up, the chandelier came in and basically touched the top of Rex Harrison's head. And as it pulled away, his whole toupee went with the chandelier up into the rafters. The same night, the same night, no less than maybe 20, maybe 30 minutes later in the second act, uh, it's a famous scene with uh, Mrs. Higgins and, and Pickering and, and, um, and there's Rex Harrison and he lets out a giant fart. And at that time, <laughs> and what's so funny is the audience accepted it. It was like they understood that. And so nobody giggled or laughed. They just heard it. And it was very loud and the flat, I mean, it was a big, big event. But no one laughed. Everyone was very polite. But his next line was, well, my mother, my, my manners are, are just as good as Colonel Pickering's. And at that moment, the whole audience guffawed, and they laughed and laughed so hard that they could not get back to the show for a full 15 minutes. Now, I don't know if one actor could lose his head, his toupee, and lose his gas in one night on stage and have that kind of... I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs>